are looking at a live picture from our Virginia Tech sky cam in Blacksburg overlooking the campus of Virginia Tech and it's no doubt very wet. It's a very, very soggy go of it across many parts of the New River Valley. As a matter of fact, as we head on over to the radar, we do have a flash flood warning in effect until 1030 for East Central Floyd and Southern Franklin counties. Up to three inches of rain have already fallen across this warned area. This does include areas in and around Rocky Mount, Ferrum, and then also into areas, uh, say, near Cindersville. So again, flash flood warning until 1030 for this red box right here. You will notice again the rain continuing to fall out across Christiansburg, Blacksburg, Radford, south into Withville. We've got the northern edge of this line in the Roanoke Valley heading to the east northeast at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. It should be impacting you folks in Blue Ridge here over the next minute or two, and then it will continue to head up towards Buchanan anytime between around 535 and 550. So again, east northeasterly movement of these showers and embedded thunderstorms, uh, not the quickest movers that we've ever seen, and that could mean for us more in the way of some localized flooding here for the next four to six hours. Incredibly heavy rain also into areas, say near Martinsville, out east into areas just south of Chatham, uh, kind of in between Chatham and Danville along that 29 corridor. Then you head, say, towards northern parts of Halifax County into southern parts of Charlotte County. We've got some heavy rain. So Blair's right along 29 areas near Nathalie, also around Halifax and Halifax County dealing with torrential rains. We're looking at rainfall rates with this in excess of two and a half inches per hour. But again, they're moving. We'd like them to move a little faster, but simply put, they're not right now. And again, that could mean the possibility for a little more flooding here over the next four to six hours. Not only these efficient rainfall producers, but a lot of thunder and lightning in these storms as well, especially out across south side. Uh, we've got uh, the number of lightning strikes just in the last three to five minutes, anywhere between 40 to 50 of them so far. Farther north, the rain is not quite as heavy nor as widespread, so the highlands not really dealing with a whole lot of rain at this juncture. We are looking at this skedaddling for the time being, anytime between 10 and midnight tonight. After that, some fog is going to form. I think tomorrow we're mostly cloudy. We're dry in the morning, but I think we're going to be pretty cloudy. Going to have more hit or miss thunder showers developing in the afternoon and early evening hours tomorrow. I would say by tomorrow evening, by 9, 10 o'clock, we should be for the most part dry. So tomorrow doesn't look quite as wet or as stormy as what we have outside right now. But still, we're not going to get through tomorrow unscathed. 66 Hot Springs, 76 in Roanoke, 74 Danville, upper 60s in the New River Valley. We're looking at uh, the showers and thunderstorms eddying at around, say, mid to late evening. Areas of fog will form lows in the 60s to near 70. And for the day tomorrow, warm and humid, more rain and thunder showers form. Highs in the 70s and low to mid 80s. We're in the mid to upper 80s here for the most part for the next week, maybe one day next week, reaching near 90 on Monday. We are looking at the first day of summer being Friday. That's also going to be our driest and sunniest day. Looks like Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we will have the chance for some pop-up thunder showers, but nothing big. Weekend does not look like a washout. John.